we've got a lovely algebraic techniques practice just adding up some algebraic fractions lovely so the plan of action here as always is that we're going to start by factorizing and then we're going to make a common denominator so that we can join them together And then we're going to watch out for this minus sign because what that's doing is it's taking off this entire thing. So when we join them together, what sometimes happens with students is they get something, I don't know, like, like say it was um, 4x over x squared minus 9 minus 2x plus 1 over x squared minus 9. I'm just going to put this cone on to remind you that this is what I'm about to write is not true, but it's a very, 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 very common mistake is to then write... 4x minus 2x plus 1 all over x squared minus 9. That's the very, very common mistake. And the mistake here is that we need brackets. So there are actually brackets here. We just don't write them as mathematicians. And then that, because you know what you mean. So it doesn't, it doesn't add anything to add, add those brackets. But now, because this 2x plus 1 should have really been bracketed here, it absolutely has to be bracketed because we're subtracting 2x plus 1. We're not subtracting 2x and adding 1. So be really careful when you've got a minus in between the two algebraic fractions. Make sure that you are careful with your use of brackets. Uh, right, what next? Factorise, make a common denominator, and then finally simplify. So where it says here single fraction in its simplest form, it's looking for total factorization so no common factors should be left and any relevant cancelling from the top and the bottom.